morning, folks. So it's D-Day, the start of farmer grade. The website goes live today, so we're celebrating. I'm making a little farmer grade bacon, farmer grade breakfast sausage. We're going to be making breakfast burrito. We're going to start with this and then do the eggs. We appreciate every one of you, and we hope that you're lucky enough to get one of the first 500 boxes. And if you don't, we're going to go again just as soon as we can. So thank you for all your support. And remember, go to farmergrade.com. So like Dad said, the website goes live today, noon central time. If you guys want one of the boxes, we only got 500, farmergrade.com. Again, we're just going to show you what's in the box. Dad's cooking up some bacon right now, cooking up some breakfast sausage. Got a pound of breakfast sausage, got a pound of Italian sausage, got around a pound of cottage bacon, around a pound of regular bacon, a two to four pound pork roast, and uh, not one, not two, not three, but four pork chops. So go get them fast. I don't know how fast it's gonna sell out. I'm a little nervous, so I'm kind of eating away my uh, emotions right now with some, with some breakfast tacos, but uh, like Dad said, we appreciate every single one of you guys. Without you guys, none of this would ever be possible. And I hope you guys can get a box, and we're just getting started. Love you guys, and now let's get into the video. Hey, in today's video, before we get into it, I just want to say... We're going to be showing you guys, the people, Milo Locker, that are going to be processing our pigs for farmer grade. Just want to throw a little disclaimer out there that it was a little bit louder than what we anticipated. So just, just keep that in mind when you're watching the video. The fans inside the locker were a little bit louder. But without further ado, let's get into it. Good morning, Kingpin. Are you ready for this adventure? I'm ready. This is I'm a, more than ready. This is a big step. So we're on the road and we're heading up to a locker. We're gonna try to get some pigs processed and sent out to you guys so that you can get you guys can buy our pork. And there's a lot of steps that have been going into the process of making this dream happen. We're going up here today to check out the locker, get a tour, talk to the owners, ask some questions. We've been kind of dreaming about this practically from the beginning. You're gonna be able to get a box of our meat and you're gonna be able to see how those pigs are raised by us, which is something that's totally unique. Uh, and nobody else is doing it to my knowledge and I think it's long overdue and I think there needs to be more of it and we have thought there need to be more of it and so we decided well we might as well do it a lot of great things to come so we just arrived at the Milo Locker and we're gonna we're gonna talk some business we're gonna get shown around check out the place get a nice little tour and then I think we might do a little bit of shopping. We'll show you around. Check it out. Hi, my name is Angie, and I'm going to show you around the Milo Locker today. USDA inspector's office, you have to have um, give them their own bathroom, shower, office, phone, and file cabinet. Load out doors, delivery doors here, uh, women's locker room, employee women's locker room. This is one of our freezers. So when we have a customer like that gentleman there that's ready to pick up a half a beef, um, we'll get a location to our loadout guy. He'll go in here with a rack and he'll pull it out, open this door, and then we'll have the customer card here and then we load it out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Floor to ceiling. Wow. Holy cow. Minus 11. Minus 11 Woo! in here. You feel the air movement. Sometimes yeah. uh, if all of the fans are running at once, you can get up to about 35 miles per hour in here, um, which is important wow, to keep that all moving. Break room. Uh, so we have 32 employees. Uh, I'd say 25 are full time. 25 are full time, wow. and, and the rest are part time. It's really super exciting. We have uh, high schoolers that work with us. We probably had 12 over the, you know, 12 to 15 over the years. We get to watch them graduate. They usually start around 16 years of age. We get to watch them graduate. We get to watch them move on to their field uh, that they want to go into. Yeah. So right now. Um, one of our guy, one of our young men right there. Next Saturday is his last day. He's graduated from high school. He took a three-week crash course to be a CNA. He's going to be a CNA, but his goal is to be an anesthesiologist. Oh, okay. So um, he has big goals, and I think he's going to make it just fine. He's a very mm -hmm. smart young man. Feeling professional, Dad. 
Oh, I am. Would you like an opinion? <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to head on to the red floor. Red floor means production. Okay. Uh, it's wet, so just walk carefully. Yep. Uh, our goal here, we are moving in the direction of our harvest floor. Kill floor clerk, Miss Hannah. That's a young lady that's uh, been born and raised on a farm and doesn't mind getting bloody. So she keeps everything organized, so we are confident that your animal that you put in pin number 12 for Sawyer Whistler goes into an offshoot and labeled from that moment to yeah. the time it leaves in a crate to be picked up. Yeah. So she writes down ways, ear tags, descriptions, you know, red heifer or, you know, narrow belted hawk, you know, all these different things. She will write it down so that we have confidence in uh, that animal being yours. Uh, they're tagged. We also have a slaughter blog, which I'll show you at some point uh, with everything that's coming in with the name of the farm. Okay. 
the heart of the Milo Latte. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Well, right. Yeah. Wow. First thing he does is grabs the first one on there and he puts it on his saw. At that point, there's a couple of um, parts on the wheels that will be brought in and he'll set them on that part if it's for the girls. Um, and then it goes to them, and this is their area. We have the tenderizer, anything, minute steaks, cutlets. Uh, there's our slicer, um, if they're one of the sandwich slices or something like that. Those get used, there you go. There's the name, but, um, but yeah, it's a Ultra Mac 3000. And it's a super duty um, vacuum, cry back chamber. Vacuum seals all the meat. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is the tumbler. all those little needles inject the brine. We make the homemade brine here. It's a brine that Daryl came up with. It has really, it has um, true honey granules in it. You have to watch your nitrate nitrite because it can only be in a certain percent. So they, they do test you on that periodically to make sure that you're mixing it properly because you don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. Honey is very important. So yeah. um, we do have people that tell us our bacon is amazing. So that's Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so that's that's really encouraging that we've got a good recipe. Uh, it comes out there, and then what we do is we put it into our tumbler. From there it goes into our smoke house area. Oh yeah. This is the warmest room in the building. Woo yeah. Wow, that's yeah. a good that's a good change up. Also smells the best. 500 pounds of smoke house. You can fit 500 pounds of meat in it. It's, it's massive. I don't think it's running. So if we walk carefully. So this is where all the smoking happens. After it's out in there, you come to the There we go. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. There's our hams that are netted, our sides that are hanging. You smell that room. Yeah, that's the best. Oh, yeah. I'll be taking it now. <laughs> <laughs> Monday morning, once that's all cooked, ready to go, they'll pull it out from this side, and it will go into our packaging room here. So we can package fresh meat in here or ready to eat meat. Um, it's very, I mean, again, it has to be um, done at different times. So ready to eat means you're gonna open up that package of sticks and you're gonna put it in your mouth. Yep. So it's very important um, that it's handled correctly. This is one of the rooms that was very important for flow, um, contamination. Sure. We, we cannot have uh, somebody that's been working with the fresh meat come in here when we're packaging yep. ready to eat. Yeah. Um, so we, you have to have a different frame of mind when you're working in this room um, with ready-to-eat product. If yep. you have on gloves and you do this or you push back your hair or whatever, you have to change out your gloves. This is our Bulldog machine. This is another awesome machine that allows us to package a lot of our retail. Like our ground beef doesn't come in tubes. It comes in little square packages. There are dyes that go in here that fit in here. And then you lay the product, like our sticks, our ring bologna, our summer sausage, all goes in and is packaged in this machine and always will be. It will be packaged on that cryback machine. The light go on. There we go. Um, plastic, all the stuff paper, it takes to... everything. It's a lot of cayenne pepper. Yes, it is. <laughs> don't want to get don't, real don't, close to it. Don't give up. Either. Don't get the seasoning. That's a secret. <laughs> that is <No>. a secret. <laughs> Well, and some of those blends are made special, which is really cool. Uh, like I said, Daryl's a meat geek, so he, uh, and we tweak things. I I have a good, he tells me I'm a bloodhound, so he has me taste things, and I can usually say, oh, I taste this, I taste that, I taste that. But, you know, so there's a lot, you know, people won't know, but, you know, there's a lot, like this recipe, we've got coriander, caraway, ground nut, make chipotle. There's things in there that, you know, just a little bit of something changes the whole flavor profile. Yep, absolutely. I think this is going to be lunch right here. Habanero barbecue, jalapeno cheddar, honey ham and Swiss, seven pepper, blue cheese. I got Iowa chops, 
bacon. You gotta have bacon. I got tailgater brats, hot dogs, uh, cheddar cheese hot dogs, and some sticks. Courtesy of Milo Locker, we on got a little house, on, the, on house. the house. We got we got some Italian sausage. Green regular onion. pork sausage, green onion. I don't know if there's any. I think that's Breakfast it. Breakfast sausage. Breakfast sausage. So, What's that? shout Good out goes. to Milo. Great people. Come here. Looking, great things are gonna come from this relationship. So we just finished up at the Milo Locker. Absolutely amazing people. Shout out to Daryl and uh, to Angie. They own the whole locker, family owned. Uh, they run it together, and they're just amazing to their employees. Amazing to customers they were amazing to us and they were just super helpful in what we're trying to do so if you're ever in milo iowa and you need some some meat because they they got some quality stuff and they're amazing people he really enjoyed the trip because he got something out of the deal it was worth the trip milo iowa it's basically basically south of des moines little town great locker great people great things coming to you very soon